Hello all, this video is on R203 thermal printer with ESP32 and the project is token print with the date and time. We will be using NTP that is network time protocol with the Wi-Fi of ESP32 and no RTC is used. The DC supply required is 12 volt DC 2 ampere for the R203 thermal printer and the communication protocol is uh, TTL. At the end of this uh, PCB there is a bunch of wires. It is uh, TTL RX TX pins. We will be using only the RX pin and the ground to communicate with the ESP32 38 pin version. This printer is also capable of RS232 communication. And the red and black bunch wires at the left hand side is for power source. We require 12 volt 2 ampere at least. It is also capable of RS232, but we are using TTL in this project. At the top of the PCB, there is a reset like button. This is used for printing test page. You can open the top lid like this and then place the thermal paper. This is thermal sensitive paper. One side of the paper is coated with thermosensitive material. And the thermosensitive portion should face the thermal head. Yeah, one thermal head is there at the bottom. It heats up according to the data sent and prints on the paper using heat. There is also a roller and a small motor inside to roll the paper. You have to place the paper properly so that the thermosensitive uh, side faces the thermal head. And then close the lid. Provide the power source. Minimum of uh, 12 volt 2 ampere is required. You can also use 12 volt 3 ampere. And then note, note the LED. The LED should be steady. If you open the lid, the LED will glow blinking slowly. So you have to play, press fit the door, place the paper roll properly and then press fit the door. Watch for the LED, the LED must be steady. Now let us print the test page. Press and hold the reset type button. Now the test page is printed. You can see the fonts supported by this printed and uh, at the bottom you can see the baud rate. The baud rate is 9600. The baud rate of R203 cannot be changed. Only in uh, Bluetooth versions you can change the baud rate. But in R203 it is fixed. 9600 is uh, fixed. We will be using ESP32 38 pin version. And uh, our communication is TTL. Only RX pin and ground are used and we will be using a base board like this. That is a purple base board with three rows of pins. The red row, black row and then uh, uh, GPO pins, yellow row. There is a jumper. You place the jumper at 3.3 uh, volt level as the ESP32 uh, GPO pins are at 3.3 volt level. You have to place the jumper at 3.3. Now all the red rail will be, red rail pins will be at 3.3 volt level. Black is zero. And then GPO pins are at the yellow, yellow pins. And there is a DC jack for supply and also USB sockets. This USB socket is not for uploading code. It is only for uh, power. You have to place the USB 32 or 38 pin version like this. The direction of the USB should face, uh, should be near the USB of the baseboard. Uh, do not place it reverse, otherwise the USB 32 will fail. Uh, we will be using only two wires from the printer that is the RX pin and the ground. RX goes to TX of ESP32 and ground to ground. The TX of ESP32 is uh, GPIO16 as there are multiple UARTs in ESP32. We use uh, serial 2 which is GPIO16 that is the TX pin. It goes to RX of printer and ground to ground. It is simple connection only two wires. Let us power the ESP32 using USB cable from the PC. You can upload the code as well as the power is through this USB. And a separate power source is required for the printer. That is 12 volt 2 ampere. Now this, uh, this is the simple connection only two wires. Now let us see the Arduino code. Before that we have to check the data sheet. Scroll down to the end of the data sheet. You can see the commands. You have to get the hex code for these commands. There are uh, uh, many commands. There is a command mode like uh, uh, 
print line feed carriage return print bold print space so many command modes are there you have to note down which commands you are using and then the relevant uh, hex code you have to note down if you scroll down further for example the line feed uh, esc that is the uh, ascii is lf and the decimal is 10 and hexadecimal is 0a you have to note down the hexadecimal 0a which we will be using in the arduino code of uh, esp32 same way uh, the other uh, command is like line spacing that is ascii is esc2 and the hexadecimal is 1b 32 0x1b 0x32 you have to note down this uh, hexadecimal uh, code so that it can be used in the arduino code and this is the arduino code you have to include the arduino.h uh, which is not a mandatory but it is better to use the arduino.h and then the gpo for uh, your communication is defined and serial 2 of esp32 object uh, there is a print serial is created printer serial and then initiate serial 2 at the baud rate of 9600 which matches the baud rate of the printer so we are initiating the serial 2 of uh, your uh, that is the esp32 and call various test functions to demonstrate the printing features like bold double spacing double uh, with like that the loop is empty here we are using only the setup run and these are the different functions the first one is the print normal text which uh, just uh, is just a basic printing no format and the next one is print bold we are using ascii that is a esc e uh, n which is hex is 1b 4501 to enable bold and uh, 00 to disable bold and the next one is double width ascii is esc so that is a shift out the hex is uh, 1b 0e and 0a for line feed is uh, used so that uh, the printer uh, moves the paper one step further that is a line feed provides line feed next one is the double spacing esc 3n that is uh, hex code is 1b 3360 that is 96 dots line spacing and the uh, next one is uh, carriage return we use uh, 0d for carriage return and 0a for line feed and then underline that uh, under for underline we use hex code is 1b 2d 02 and 1b 2d 00 to uh, switch off the underline same way that is and finally we use the reset to default esc at that is 1b 40 is uh, reset and then for uh, printing at the center we use 1b 24 nl and nh which is the bytes uh, for byte values and left alignment is 1b 6100 so finally we printed the center and then reset to the left align upload this code to esp32 and then open the serial monitor you can see the various uh, functions being called and uh, you can see on the printer uh, it is printed out once as we are not using loop it will print only once if you want to print again you press the reset button of esp32 it will print again now let us check the Uh, what is printed according to the uh, according to the functions the first one is the normal text you can see the uh, at the top first it is printed hello r203 which is normal text and uh, next one is bold print bold according to the hex code uh, we have sent it is printed in bold and the next we have printed double width you can see the double width gap after the bold and the and then the double width is disabled and the line spacing is given between line 1 and line 2 two line spacing is given and printed that is double spacing printing and then carriage return if carriage return is not uh, uh, given it will print that is the uh, overwritten will be printed over the, the cr test new line and then the underline text and then the uh, normal printing that is a reset to default uh, default font and then the uh, we print at the center 
and finally left alignment so according to all the functions it is printed properly the next one we are going to see is the token print project so we are adding one G a gpo4 one uh, switch press switch when you press the switch the token will be printed and also we add a buzzer to another gpo pin 5 it will print a token number and then give a short beep so two more gpo pins are used one for a reset button one for pressing button and the other one is the buzzer if you press the button this token is printed and the token number will uh, keep on incrementing until the reset up to 999 we are given in the code now let us uh, check the token print code that is rxtx uh, pins or uh, uh, defined and then the switch pin is gpo4 buzzer pin is gpo5 your2 is initiated uh, initiated here and the switch pin internal pull up, pull up we are using there is a micro uh, switch pin as input with internal pull up so that it is high and when it is pressed it will go to low and uh, uh, and inside the loop we check if the switch is pressed to low <coughs> Uh, after this, uh, the yeah, we are using internal switch, uh, so internal pull up for the switch, and then inside the loop we check if the switch is pressed to low, and finally we trigger the printing with a short uh, beep of uh, buzzer, and finally increment the token. The print token, that is uh, print token function, will uh, take care of the format and uh, print the token. The format used or uh, center align that is 1B6101 uh, and uh, enable bold 1B4501 and then double with 1B0E. These are the formats used and, uh, and finally line feed. Upload the code. This is the token print uh, project. Token one by one it is printed when the switch is pressed. And finally, we will be using the Wi-Fi of the ESP32 and connect to network time protocol so that we can print the token with time and date. So here, most importantly, the libraries used are Wi-Fi.h for Wi-Fi and NTP client.h. You have to install this library, which talks to the time, uh, time servers, that is a public time servers like pool.ntp.org. We have to provide the Wi-Fi credentials of your, your local Wi-Fi so that the ESP32 connects with the Wi-Fi and then talks with the uh, public time server. The NTP and time setup, that is the time client initiates the NTP client, pool.ntp.org is the time server. We have to set it to your local time minus Indian time, UTC plus 5.30. So config time function is uh, used for this and we use 19800 value that is uh, the 530 UTC plus 530 is uh, this value and we take the time from pool.ntp that is a, a public server and print the token with the Indian time that is a main print function. The month names are uh, or provided in array so that you can convert month to string upload this code and then test the printing you can see the uh, token print with time and date stamp uh, if you press the button it will the next token will be printed and the time stamp also is printed the code we have used preferences instead of uh, e square prom storage as uh, e square prom is not there in esp32 we use preferences so that when power goes away this uh, token number is remembered and printed properly. Thank you for watching.